everyone. It's Lisa Moeller with Medmark, and welcome to another edition of Doc Talk. We're coming to you today from Scottsdale, Arizona. Actually, we're in my home in Scottsdale, Arizona, to be specific. Today, our very special guest is Dr. Garth Hatch. Garth owns Columbia River Endodontics and Dental Specialist Institute. He's visiting with us today all the way from Kenilworth, Washington. Welcome, Dr. Hey, Hatch. Thank you, Lisa, for having your, your beautiful home here in Scottsdale. Oh, thank you for joining you, us. You've got grass outside. Yes. That's rare for this <laughs> We do. We like to earth. It makes me feel at home. Yes. I, like the green, I, so. I can be in the desert, but I can't have desert landscaping. I'm with you. <laughs> it's better than the rocks. <laughs> exactly. So thanks for joining us today. Um, tell us about um, DSI and what you do with your institute uh, for endodontics. Absolutely. Yeah. Dental Specialist Institute is an organization where we focus on helping endodontists in particular, endodontists, periodontists, and oral surgeons have more profits, more referrals, and more freedom. You know, right. because really that's the big the big pillar where you can have a successful practice, enjoy what you do, but also have a life outside of the practice where you can spend time with your loved ones, doing things you enjoy, and have that balance with uh, with work and, and play. Right, which is so important. Absolutely. You have to have the balance these days or you're getting into some trouble. Absolutely, absolutely. And it will. Sooner or later, it, it, it causes burnout. That's, that's what brought me to, to doing what I'm doing. I mean, I kind of live both sides where... You know, started a practice and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, tough time in, uh, right after the 2008 recession mm -hmm. and practices were struggling. There was a lot of uh, difficulties with the dental market. Uh, I felt like I just had to do everything I could to get things rolling. I was lucky I, I got some good mentors uh, early on, uh, both uh, coaching with, with Ace Gorg and his brother-in-law Todd Holmes at the time mm -hmm. and tried lots of different things, did many things failed but things uh, certain things went really well and we just tried to do more of what worked and, and drop the things that didn't work right but was able to grow the practice by 60 percent that first year and it was fantastic i mean things kept going well i was growing the practice year after year uh enjoying it as far as the growth but it got to be where my success was also my my downfall because it felt like I never had a life, you know, I, mm -hmm. I grew the practice by trying to be the guy available if somebody needed to get a patient in the evening, weekend, whatever, I was, I was the guy that would get it done. And because of that, it really helped grow the practice, but I got to where I was missing my kids' birthday parties, missing, oh. you know, activities and sporting activities yeah. and things like that. And it just, you don't want to do that. Yeah. I just really, I was That leads burn to burnout. Definitely. It really did. And I felt like I've got to get a point where I can do both. And that's, I can relate to working too much. Yeah. yeah. As you can, I'm sure you can. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a bit a of a workaholic myself. Always doing lots, which, yeah. is, which is neat. So Dr. Hatch, you talk about the four pillars of success in your, um, in the courses that you teach. Yes. Um, and that's term which stands for team, environment, referrals, and marketing. Yes. Can you touch on each of those for us sure. and, and tell our audience about that? Happy to, because yeah, it doesn't matter the, the, the practice, any specialist, especially endodontist, you've got those four pillars, either for success or failure. Your team can make or break you, your environment, uh, you have to have a, a, a neat environment where you've got adequate space and equipment to get patients in when, when they want to come in. Uh, you know, unfortunately, our patients don't come in a nice steady stream, which we wish they would. Unfortunately. Yeah, really. I mean, it, it'd be nice to schedule everything all nights and neat, but yes. it doesn't happen that way. Right. You know, it's usually a big swell and then a downturn and another <laughs> swell and downturn. And if we don't have the capacity, both from enough chairs, enough operatories to get the patients in, and adequate docs, we just can't handle that swell, and so the, the patients are going to go somewhere else. But when we can have that adequate uh, capacity, we can get the patients in when they need to get in. And then referrals and marketing. You know, referrals and marketing really are intertwined, uh, but I, I like to just separate them out a little bit just because they're a little different animal in that marketing, I look at marketing as everything you do up to the point of you getting that referral, that patient walking in your door. Mm -hmm. But the referrals and referral systems are what you do after that point so that you not only get one referral, it's a one and done, but you can get another referral you know, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, where year after year you can continue growing the practice from steady referral systems and setting up those systems to do things right so that your practice can continually grow. Right. I'm a proponent of marketing. Uh, I, I, I know, and you Big do a time. great job. <laughs> Thank you. It <laughs> with takes your, money with your to magazines. make money, right? It's true. It's true. It's the, that old ad, adage is still very, very true today. So true. Well, it, and really, what, what marketing is, is just letting people know what you're offering. You know, if you have an amazing 
service or product, you know, be that as an endodontist, be that as a, as a, a magazine, mm-hmm. um, be that as in coaching, consulting, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is, you're actually doing people a disservice if you, they don't know about you. Because if you truly feel you can benefit your patients, and you know, in this case, if you can do uh, the best quality root canals in your area, why would you not wanna let people know about that so they know where the patients can go and also where the general dentist can, can feel comfortable going. You know, when, right. when a, a general dentist makes a referral to a specialist, they're kind of going out on a limb. Yeah, you know? big time. They really are because mm-hmm. they're, it's a reflection of them. If they send the patient, their patient in their office somewhere else and they're not treated right, they're, you don't see the patient on time, they're in pain, whatever goes wrong, right. that's a bad reflection on that general dentist. Absolutely. And they may not even go back to the general dentist. Because, right, they could lose a patient from that. Right. And so they really need to, to know, like, and trust you as a specialist so that they're going to send referrals. And there's many ways that, that you do that. But one of the biggest is just with relationships and showing how you're going to take care of their patients in, in great quality endo. You know, a lot of specialists for years have just thought, hey, you do great quality work and that's all you have to do. You know, of course you have to do great quality work. But at this point, that just gets you in the door. I mean, in most markets, there's plenty of options out there. There's many different specialists in, in a given area. Mm-hmm. And so just because you're a specialist doesn't mean you're, you're special. I mean, you know, and unfortunately. <laughs> right, right. You know, it's kind of what above and beyond. What are you doing to help the patients uh, to have a great experience? What are you doing to help the referring dentist to help with his problems, you know, with, mm-hmm. with his struggles? What keeps him, him up at night? You know, how can you help with those, those things? That's what's going to really make the big difference at the end of the day. And, and ultimately, it's in relationships you know what kind of relationships do you have with your referring offices with your patients and with your team right it all boils down to that it is and i can see why you chose those four topics as the four pillars Mm -hmm. those are awesome to touch on and to and to educate offices that covers everything Thank you. And again, a lot of those lessons came from from painful <laughs> lessons, you know, right. doing, doing things right and wrong, you know, so trying to take what worked well and do more of that and, and drop the things that weren't working well. That's awesome. So tell us about this rock star team training sure. that you do. <laughs> I want to hear more about this. Rockstar. When you think of rock stars, what do you think of? What, what's some things that come to mind? John Bon Jovi. There you go. <laughs> John Bon Jovi, you know, Kid Rock, you know, <laughs> you two, whatever. Um, these these amazing you know groups that uh, can can just own a, a scenario own a concert and you can go to a concert and it could it could be a concert it could be a movie it could be your your honeymoon dinner whatever it is but you know if you think back to a time when everything was amazing you know you you were have an enjoyable experience. The the sounds, the sights, the smells, everything was great. You were with somebody that you enjoyed being with, somebody you loved or cared for. Um, people, it was a friendly environment. Mm-hmm. You know, you could be in a scenario like that, and time could stand still, literally, where that moment could be two or three hours, and yet it just seems like it's it was a fraction of a second. You know. And you, f- you flip that same scenario to where you're in a painful or stressful situation. Uh, a minute can feel like an eternity. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, especially for us as, as root canal dentists, as, as endodontists, I mean, w- what is worse, you know, the taxes and getting a root canal? I mean, that's, that's such a common... You know, <laughs> There's already a stigma. Yeah, absolutely. Cash. From, from, from day one. Mm-hmm. And so we've got to do everything we can to give the patient an amazing experience. And when we can do that, literally, we, we can become rock stars for our patients where our, everyone's on the same page. Our, our, our team, uh, we work well together, we play well together. Rock stars, it, it stands for results, ownership, customer service, which is huge, as, as you know, customer yeah. service is so important. Absolutely. Kaizen, which is a Japanese term meaning constant, never ending improvement. Mm-hmm. Systems, team, you know, back to the team player action resolve and serve and all those things have a key you know part in your practice and really growing the practice but when your team can become rock stars and can give the patients an amazing experience and also when they become owners in the practice when they essentially get an ownership mentality within the business you know because unfortunately our most employees aren't really interested in growing their practice you know or or their business you know well they don't treat it like it's their own business absolutely Absolutely. You know, there's a recent Gallup poll that uh, was done, not just on general uh, dentist practices or, or, or dental, but business in general. But they found that 
of all the people surveyed, only 13% of the employees were actually engaged in the practice. You know, were, were they in the business? You know, were they, they felt they wanted to help grow the business. They enjoyed what they did. They felt stimulated and, and uh, they could be creative in that, in that business. Mm -hmm. Only 13%. Oh, that's low. Which is sad when you think yeah. about it. 24% were actively disengaged where they were actively trying to harm the practice or harm the business. You know, wow. Which you think is crazy. Why on earth would somebody be paying an employee to hurt the business? And yet it's, it's rampant. Yeah, it's it, out there. It's out there. Yeah. And then the, the vast majority, the, the 63%, or what I call the walking dead, you know, where they're, they're just there kind of going through the motions. You know, they're not trying to hurt the, the business, uh, but they don't want to do anything above and beyond to make it succeed. You know, they want to come in, clock in, do their thing, do the minimal they can to not get fired, right? All the while, they're thinking about somewhere else they'd rather be because they don't enjoy what they're doing. They can't wait to get out the door and, and clock out when it's time to leave. Mm -hmm. And then they wonder why, why the practice isn't growing, you know? Right, right. When we can help engage our, our team to get an ownership mentality, to become invested in the practice where when the practice grows, everybody benefits, it's a whole nother level where your growth can yeah. really take off. That's awesome. Yeah. And so speaking of rock stars, let's, let's switch gears a little bit and um, talk about Edgendo. Sure, absolutely. And tell me about how you utilize Edgendo files yeah. and how you can't live without them in your practice. Because yeah. I understand that's basically your exclusive. Absolutely. Love them. Love them. You know, Chuck Goodis really hit it out of the ballpark when he came up with the Edgendo files. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're flexible very strong they're, they're they're very fracture resistant which is endodontist that's the, the difficulty we always face you know we want to try and get the treatment done efficiently as fast as possible but still really good quality and yet you're always dealing with the the stress is that file going to break on me is it is it can handle it to this you know tough calcified canal on on grandpa that's 85 years old and there's no canal space mm -hmm. Edge dental files are amazingly flexible. Uh, you can get around curved cal canals, uh, tough cases, without that fear of is, is the file going to break on me. I mean, any file will break, but you can be very much more comfortable with your, the Edge dental files, and that's why I switched. I mean, I've used many different files, and, and I'm not getting I'm not getting paid by, by Chuck to do. I mean, I, I should be, but <laughs> <laughs> right. but uh, they're just amazing files. They really are, um, and. Not only are they extremely flexible, they're great files to use, but also they're half the cost. So it's like, it's a no-brainer, really. I mean, once I switched, I would not go back. Even if, even if it was Chuck was, was charging more, which I, I shouldn't say that, because don't charge more, Chuck. I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> I like it where it's at, you know. Doctors don't need to charge more. Yeah, yeah, but they're, they're really a great file system. But they really entered the scene with a mission mm -hmm. of, um, you know, a, an excellent file for a lower amount sure. of money than, than all their competition. Sure. So that's been highly successful for them. Oh, I mean, Chuck's a, a pioneer. I mean, he really is. And, and anytime you're a pioneer, you always get arrows in your back and sometimes in your front, you know, from, from and he, as he still is, unfortunately, um, you know, three years ago, people were like, oh, he's going to be out of business. You know, the last year, oh, he's going to be out of business. And, and they're growing year after year just because it's a great product. It really is. Uh, once people try them, they love them, and, and at half the cost, how can you go wrong? So uh, Chuck's an amazing guy. I mean, he, he really is a pioneer with what he's doing, and I, th I think very good things in the future for, for Edge Endo. Well, if you, can, if you can shorten the treatment time for a patient yep. and have them come out of your office, yep. you know, pain-free right. and loving life again, yeah. Yeah. that's all you can ask for, right? It really is. It really is. You, and I think, as and an endodontist would, would relate to this, uh, you want to do the best work you can. All, all of us, want, as, as clinicians, at least I hope, would want to do the very best work we can. And there's certain you know, struggles that we have with, with the equipment we have, including the files. And so when you have a file that you can rely on, even if it is, and it's, and it's half the cost, even if it, you, know, you are dealing with a tough case, you start getting a bend, I throw the file out and I get another uh, f file. I mean, it's whatever, 20 some bucks a pack for six. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm okay with, with throwing away files if I need to because I know every time I use it, it's going to be fresh, it's going to work well, and I, I know how much pressure I can put on it and reliably not worry about the, the file fracturing on me. Right. So it wasn't a difficult transition to go yeah. from the files you were using to 
an agenda file. Yep, real easy, real easy. Because they've, they've got systems that are pretty much any other file system you're using. I mean, I, I've used, you name it, I've used profiles, I've used pro tapers, I've used the, uh, the endo sequence, all of them, you know, good files. I mean, nothing wrong with any of those files. Uh, but in my opinion, I, it, was, it was an easy switch because it was, a, I thought, a superior product. And, uh, and it's, you don't have to get a certain file with the Agendo because they've got files that are similar to the ProTaper files. They've got files that are similar to the Agendo. They've got files similar to the GT files. You know, whatever system you're using, you can easily transition uh, with the Agendos. Right. And your file of choice is the X7? X7, X7 right? yeah. Yeah, I love the X7. What oh. sets that apart from all the others? Oh, it was just, for me, it was an easy easy transition. I was using the, the uh, endo sequence, 04 taper, so it was an easy transition. I'll use the 06 25 file. That's a great file for just kind of a workhorse to kind of open things up. Mm -hmm. But for the mar most part, I use the 04 taper. Um, and really... It's what works, works well in my hands. I really like the X7s, but by the same time, others that, that are using different file systems, they love their, their different systems. And there's, I wouldn't want to push any one uh, file system with the Agendo. Just, I'd say try them. I mean, just get a set that is maybe similar to what you're using right now. Try it out, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. And you can try the different ones. I mean, there's, there's, there's several different series they have. Uh, the Edge Evolve and, and, and many others that you can try out. But uh, also, if you, if you get used to one that you like it, and I've talked to Chuck Goodis about this, he's like, hey, there's different, you know, we, we like to have different systems out there, but if one's working, don't, don't rock the boat. I mean, keep using what's working. Right, you know? absolutely. Yeah. It's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> exactly. So what about the, um, the root canal, the Edge Endo root canal blog? Are you involved with that at all? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Uh, it's I've I've used it though it is a, it's a good blog I mean then people can post cases they can show off their work and collaborate with other endodontists you know ask questions so yeah it's it's a really neat forum uh, for people interested in getting online and collaborating with their their colleagues. It's always great to be able to do that mm -hmm. with online especially these days with our with the technology it's so easy for doctors to share information mm -hmm. in real time. Absolutely, which is absolutely. Excellent. Um, so tell us about, um, let's switch gears a little sure. on CBCT. Sure, sure. Um, so I understand CareStream mm -hmm. is your That's my baby. Choice. Yeah, okay. I've got the... So talk, talk to us a little bit about that. I use the, the CareStream AB100. Uh, it's, it, in my opinion, it's, it's the best one out there for the, the money. I mean, it's, it's amazing resolution. I mean, hands down, it's got one of the best resolutions out there. Mm -hmm. And for endodontists, you're usually trying to find the the MB2, you know, that little tight canal, you're not, you're not, you know, looking for something that's, that's 10 millimeters. I mean, you're, you're looking for the real, uh, minute details to find a crack or extra canal or something like that. And so that resolution is huge. And my biggest re uh, regret with the care stream was just not buying it sooner. Oh, you know, because okay. it, it, it is, it's a big chunk of money. I mean, it, 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 and any of them are. I mean, all, all of well, the. It's an, they're all investments, but it, it's an, they pay off very well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's been, not only diagnostic, I mean, I wouldn't go back at this point. If somebody said, you've got to practice endo without it, I, I wouldn't want to practice because I know what I'd be missing, you know. And so diagnostically, treatment-wise, it's a game changer. Uh, but two, it's, it's been a money generator. I and mean, we've actually generated income uh, above and beyond uh, the diagnostic benefit from the, the cone beam mm -hmm. because not only can we... Uh, get more information I mean we're charging $185 in our office and, and medical you know they laugh at that I mean they're charging 900 bucks or, you know or, or more for a, a CT scan uh, a cone beam has similar diagnostic information with one one hundredth of the exposure and at a fraction of the cost I mean it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a bargain I mean some some offices don't do it for free I I would say don't if you're if you're not charging anything on your cone beam, I would start charging because it is it's it's a big investment and it's a big service that you're offering and right. uh, insurance is even starting to cover it. It's still still slow, but uh, when patients see the benefit, I think they're more than happy to to pay the cost. And those when we have patients that are worried about the cost or balk at it, we give them a discount. We'll do it for free. I mean, I'll, I need the info, and so if I need it, I'm fine doing it for free. I mean, I just I want to make sure I'm giving the the best care I possibly can to the patient, right. and that's good diagnostic info yeah, in the chemistry. I mean, it gives you the exact pinpoint of where you need to be yep. working inside their mouth. And yep. I don't think I'd go to a specialist these days that didn't have a comb. Sure, sure. 
I agree. Just personally, I agree. Seeing the technology yeah. And, yeah. and how amazing it is. I agree. I, and and I was one of them. I mean, it, I I feel bad that I wasn't using it before I did. You know, I mean, it's it's one where once you try it, you know what you're missing, and so you wouldn't want to go back. Right. Mm. So, Dr. Hatch, tell us about your top best practice, um, not only that you use in your personal practice, but also that you would teach in your courses. Sure, sure. I'd probably have to go back to, to one of the four pillars in, in term, and that's environment. You know, and that, there's a lot of different areas with that, but uh, one is just space and equipment. You know, having the proper equipment to do your job, you know, to do excellent work. And there's lots of equipment out there. Many dental companies want to sell a lot of equipment, and I'm not a big fan to say just buy everything that's out there because a lot of equipment you don't need. But it's really important to have the, the game changers in your practice. It's an investment. If it's going to make you a, a better clinician, a better practice, take better care of the patients, why would you not want to have the best equipment out there? You know, one is uh, with the cone beam, I and mean, that's a big one. One is, in my opinion, the edge endo files. I love the edge endo files. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to uh, give them away, if, if, you know, and, and, and practice without them because they just they work really well on my hands. Right. Um, and another big one is just your environment. You need adequate capacity to be able to get patients in when they need to come in. You know, it's it's not a steady flow of patients that we'd like to have coming when you know when they're coming through. It's usually a big swell and a drop, and then a, you know another big swell and a drop. Uh, grocery stores are a good example. You know, grocery stores they operate on a razor thin margin. You know, and yet you go to these grocery stores and they've got like a million checkout lines. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you're like, why on earth would they have so many checkout lines? And they've got like usually there's like two or three that are open. Right, you know. Right. Um, it's not because they got money to just throw around. It's they've they've done research where there may only be seven to ten days a year when all the checkout lines are, are used at the same time, mm -hmm. and you know whatever before the Fourth of July holidays, holidays you know yeah the, the Super Bowl whatever those are, but yet when they can maximize when the the customers are wanting to buy, open up all the all the lanes that it makes it more than worth their money to have all those lanes available and pretty much sit vacant, you know, a good percentage of the year, mm -hmm. but because when they have the capacity, they, they can do that. And I compare that in a dental office. You know, how many dental offices, they've got a specialist, they want to grow, they want to bring on an associate, they want to develop the, the practice, and they've got two, two operatories, you know? Mm -hmm. You can see that's, that's a, a capacity bottleneck. It does, right. You could be the best clinician in the world, and there's only so many patients you can see. And so that's where you need to be willing to have the capacity both space-wise, operatory-wise, and dock-wise, where you can get the patients in when they need to come in. That's a really good point. Thanks. Very good point. Thanks. Um, so tell us how we can find you at with your Dental Specialist Institute. Sure. Uh, you can go on our website, dentalspecialisti, the letter I, dot com. Uh, just like it's, like it's spelled, Dental Specialist I. Um, we've got our phone number there. We, uh, feel free to call. We've got our coaches, myself. Uh, we can set up a free consultation, uh, go over you know, the struggles you're having with your practice, uh, see if we're a good fit with uh, helping your practice or not, and that's, and that's okay too. I would recommend anyone get a good coach. I'm, I'm a big fan of coaches. I, I've, uh, Ace Gorg and his brother-in-law Todd Holmes were my first coach. In fact, I've had him in our practice twice. Amazing. Uh, love both of them. And uh, well, I've used different coaches uh, since then. Uh, Fortune Management, Scheduling Institute, uh, Tony Robbins and, and his programs. Um, we're a fan of Tony. Uh, he, he, as you know, I know with, with the magazine. Yeah, I know. Tony's amazing. He really is. You know, but I tried to take the best ideas all over where we could find and then kind of hone those within the practice as a specialist too, because especially in the uh, coaching, consulting, dental world, a lot of this, the information is geared more toward the general dentist, you know, and you kind of have to uh, sift through the stuff that really doesn't work for an endodontist and then find what really works. And when you can find somebody that knows the endo market, it's not just pie in the sky ideas that somebody that is not even a dentist or hasn't practiced in 20 years, it's, it's real life things that are working right now that'll help your practice, right. you know. And that's why I started Endodontic Practice Magazine. I love it. I, I, Practical applications yes. that endodontists can use, read a 30 minute article, yep. use those applications yep. in the next room, and actually have them work right. for themselves and the patients. Applicable today, right, not, Hands. not. you know, I'm a big fan of research, but, but you know, 
so there's so much, some, you know, so much research sometimes that you get lost, you know, the, the, the weeds of the forest, you know, and yeah. uh, when you can have something you can use, and that's what I do like about your magazine. It's, it's, it's useful on a daily basis. Thank you. Here. Sorry for the shameless plug. No, no, ha- happy Didn't to. Mean to totally <laughs> there. No, it's so true though. I love it. I love thank it. You, thank thank you. you. Well, it's been wonderful having you with us again today. Thank you. And Pleasure's all mine. You'll come back and spend some more time with us and, happy to. and sit and chat and, happy and to. educate our endodontists in our online community. Thank you. And, and really, thank you, Lisa, for all you're doing with Endopractice US and MedMark. I mean, you're doing amazing things, and it's thank fun to you. see you guys grow and all you're doing. So, oh, thank, thank you, you, Lisa. It's exciting for us. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks. It was thank great you. To see you. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Best wishes. Thanks. So, that's going to do it today for this Doc Talk segment. I'd like to thank Dr. Garth Hatch for joining us thank you. and providing such thank valuable you. information to our thank endodontic you. audience. A very special thanks to our sponsor, Edge Endo. You can find more information about them at edgeendo.com. And for more info on Dr. Hatch and DSI, go to dentalspecialisteye.com. As always, you can find everything endo in our publication, Endodontic Practice, and on our website, endopracticeus.com. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.